Hello friends, today we will gonna let you know about the EC2 service. EC2 is one of the services that provide the computing platform to serve the host in the cloud. EC2 having uh, provides the different feature like EC2 hyphen instance is one of the service that include EC2. AMI also considered an EC2. EBS elastic block storage is, is inside EC2. Security groups is a virtual firewall, load balancer, elastic load balancer and auto scaling. So ELB and auto scaling is one of the main services inside the EC2 and we already uploaded uh, two videos for both of them today we will discuss about the ec2 instances how to uh, how to launch an instance so we have different type of instance we have an ec2 dashboard it shows how much running instances we have dedicated host volumes how much e ebs volumes we have used key pairs elastic ips snapshot load balancer and security groups it's also having some events tags reports to generate the reports of the ec2 uses and this is the main thing is the limitation limits it shows that we have a limit to run 20 ec2 instance at a time so the total running instance is 20 and the total instance is double of that is 40 it may be possible that running instances may be 19 okay, and 18 so uh, up to 20 we can run the instance so how to launch an instance let's go to the instances go to the service ec2 and after EC2 go to the EC2 hyphen instance this is a service then click on the launch instance launch instance it asks us to the AMI which AMI we need to choose so AMI is a Amazon machine images so AMI is a template and template may be an OS plus extra software that we want to install in our servers so there are pre-built AMIs in the market we can also eligible to create our own AMIs and it shows inside the my AMIs so in quick start if you go for the free tier, then click on the free tier. It shows all of the AMI which are included in free tier. So I'm going to choose RHEL 7. It's free, uh, included in free tier. And we have different instance types, instance families. As you see, we have different instance families, and instance can be described based on their families and based on instance types. We have instance family general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized, scripted instance family, and T2. T2 is the instance class, M4 is the one of the instance class, M3 is one of the instance class, and C4 is the instance class. Dot nano, dot micro, dot small, dot medium is the instance types. We should choose general purpose instances where we need a burstable performance. And compute optimize, compute optimize provide the highly compute CPUs. We'll go for the memory optimized instance where we need high memory and go for the storage optimized instance where we need high storage we also have an escalated optimized it's having two g2 and p2 so g2 is a gpu optimized and p2 is a performance optimized so we need to choose the instances as per the our application requirement so sometimes the application person also tell us what type of instance we need to now it show we show the that we have different instance types t2.micro t2.small general purpose is a family type compute optimizer one of the family type and the gpu and memory optimized also one of the family types so i'm gonna to choose t2.micro because it's free in a free time figure instance details i'm gonna launch one instance so amazon sell the unused resources as an spot instance so we need to bid by it so we don't use it for the production we if we want then we go for a test and dev purposes for with on spot instances because if there is any requirement by the aws Amazon for on demand and for the reserved instances it will terminate so Amazon will terminate as Amazon required the instances required the computer resources so i don't go for with on spot instances this is the network so this is the vpc by default we have a one vpc and if we want then we can create our custom vpcs also so i am in the singapore region in singapore region we have two zones so it's a zone a southwest zone a and southwest zone b there are two zones in singapore region and both are public these both of the subnets are public because these are included with the vpc take a subnet as public we need to attach one gateway with our vpc one gateway with our vpc and need a public ip also for that so auto assign public ip so auto assign public ip is unable by default then that means we get a public ip if it is not unable then we can select a enable from here and surely we will get a public ip 
so IAM role we can we will discuss this in our IAM classes uh, but it is important that if you want to we want to associate the IAM role with the instance then it should be associate at the instance creation time it is not possible to associate it after instance creation after instance launch so shutdown behavior is stop and terminate most of the cases we choose a stop if we choose a terminate then it will terminate the instance at when we will go with the shutdown so with, I'm going to stop so protect against accidental warrant termination is one of the option provide the option security options that if no one can able to terminate the instance by accidentally I have choose protect against accidental termination and I am going to terminate our instance then I am not able to terminate our instance first we need to disable the protect against accidental termination after instance launch default we have a default monitoring it generates the matrices after five minutes if you want the matrices for every minute then we need go with the enable cloud boss detail monitoring but it's a paid service so i'm not going with this nc so we have a shared and dedicated means our uh, instance is running on a hardware and hardware may be an hypervisor so in one hypervisor there may be one or more than one instances one vms can be launched so if i'm going with a shared instance and every time when we stop or start the over vms over instance then it may be running at any hardware if i'm going with dedicated it is running every time on a same hardware if hardware is faulty then we are not able to run our instance so we should go with the shared one for we also have a advanced detail options so it it's a bootstrapping part it's a user data you behind user data cloud init is working so if you want some extra things at the time of system initialization at the time of system initiation or if you want to install some scripts so we can write a script bin bash yum install as should be install the apache start the apache servers it is start it's at the booting time and i have put uh, the private ip inside the where approval html index.html next going with the storage so in storage there are two types of ebs volumes one is the instance store volume and another one in the ebs back we have only one options it's an instance store it's an EBS if we go with another higher instance types then it also shows the instance store volume so with EC2 we only get the EBS volume type so I'm going with the 10 GB by default there's a minimum requirement tagging if you want then give the name as records siphon instance one next configure security groups so security group is like a virtual firewall I am going with I am create a new security groups so name as techhertz hyphen security groups and by default port 22 is enabled port 22 is open and it listening on every IP listening from every IP so it may be a security bridge so we should be aware about the IPs we should pass the IPs that is our network IPs so here I am going to open all of the IPs because it's our test class review and launch then launch then create new existing key pair so it not giving the option to do SSH to connect with the instance with the password it's give a key based authentication it's provide a private key to us and save the public key inside the instance so create new key pair I have named it as stackhards hyphen key pair and this is one time downloaded file if you miss this then we don't have any options to re retain it again so but in my next video I will let you know how we can get it again if we have lost our keys how we can get access on the instance without any key download key pair so it's a dot pam key file so dot pam is used to SSH on the instance through the Linux if you want to lo log in on the instance through the windows then we need to convert this dot pam key to the dot ppk key through putty key gen then launch the instance let's wait now the instance is coming up so when our instance is coming up public key is not a static IP oh, sorry it's generated public public IP and private IP so the private IP is one of the IP that is static but the public IP is not static it changed every time when we reboot the system or when we stop and start our host instance 
if you if we want use an elastic IP then we can go with elastic IP elastic IP gives the option of to get the static IP so allocate IP I get the elastic IP now go to the action then associate address so instance it shows we have only one instance that is running so that's why it shows and this is the tagging tag hertz hyphen instance one which we have used associate the address close one so we get up to five elastic IP free in free time if we have allocated the elastic IP and not associated with any of the AWS resource then we need to pay it with AWS, Amazon so it is necessary if we allocate address then we should associate it with any of the AWS resources and if we don't want to use the elastic IP then it's not recommended to use elastic IP okay then go to the connect first change the permission as ch mode 400 so ec2 hyphen user is a default username which we use to get the ssh login now ssh on the instance make as root so we can see df hyphen h now we are able to log in on the instance and this is the by default 10 GB storage we, which we get at the storage end. So, uh, this is the process how we can log in on a Linux instance from a Linux server so what is the process how we can log in from a Windows first we need to download a software as putty keygen in the putty keygen we need to load the file shows as all and this is the key open it okay and save private key save private key yes give the same name and any name and I have saved it so it's saved now open up putty let's copy the public IP of the instance or the elastic IP of the instance it may be anyone static IP or the elastic IP or it may be a dynamic public IP if you have not used the elastic IP on the SSH then auth let's come on the authentication let's browse and it's our dot dot ppk key I have generate or convert the file from dot pam to dot ppk let's open it yes ec2 hyphen user is the default username sudo su hyphen make as root so df hyphen h if config then it shows the private IP 212 this is the 212 and here is the 212 if you are facing some issues at the login time so in our coming videos we will let you know about how we can troubleshoot the EC2 connectivity issues so thank you guys please like share and subscribe my channel to get more upcoming videos